What is the difference between a condenser and dynamic microphone and which one should you buy? In this video, we're going to cover the differences between condenser and dynamic mics and explain why we think dynamic mics are better for most podcasters. Hi there, it's James here from Riverside.fm, the platform that allows you to record studio quality video interviews and podcasts remotely. We publish three videos a week here showing how you can take your recording quality to the next level. So subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. Let's get into this video. In the simplest terms, dynamic microphones are much more forgiving and will give you a more boomy radio voice, also doing a good job of rejecting background noises. Most podcasters use dynamic microphones and the majority of my recommendations will be in this category because of its forgiving nature. Condenser microphones are much more sensitive and will pick up more background noise, require phantom power to use, but may give you a clearer, more natural signal. You should only really use the condenser microphone if you have a studio set up where the conditions are right. Let me compare how dynamic and condenser microphones sound so you can hear for yourself. The Shure SM7B I'm using for this video I've heard be referred to as the bad sounding room mic because it sounds excellent in most rooms no matter how poor the acoustics are. Now. All microphones will sound better if you have good audio conditions. For instance, this is what the Shure SM7B sounds like when I'm in my wardrobe. And so you can clearly tell this microphone sounds better when I'm in my wardrobe. And even better when I'm in my sound booth. However, compared to a condenser microphone, this is still far more forgiving, so you don't have to record in your wardrobe. Popular podcasters such as Joe Rogan, Tim Ferriss and Stephen Bartlett all use dynamic microphones for their podcasts. I don't typically use condenser mic phones because of the reasons I've just mentioned. So I had to order one in just to use in this video. Hello, I'm here with your condenser microphone to test for your Riverside video. <laughs> this is the famous Blue Yeti that I've steered people away from many times, mainly because I don't think it's a very good choice or the right choice for people starting out. So let's compare how this Blue Yeti USB mic sounds when compared with the underrated or lesser known AKG P120, which is an XLR condenser mic. We can get rid of this now. So the AKG P120 is a $75 mic, more than $40 cheaper than the Yeti. You can tell it sounds pretty nice when I'm close to it, but as I move a little bit away, you'll notice I get a lot more room noise. To really get the most out of these microphones, you'll need to have a well-treated setup. Let me head back into my wardrobe to show you what I mean. So you can really hear the difference a well-treated room makes to the sound of this microphone. If I go deeper into this, if I go really deep into the cupboard, it just sounds fantastic. So if you've got this kind of setup, I'd highly recommend getting a condenser microphone. One thing you will need to consider with condenser microphones is they do need phantom power. The Blue Yeti has this built in via the USB port. Let's go back to the desk, shall we? Here is a final side-by-side -side comparison. In this clip, I'm using my Shure SM7B dynamic microphone. And this is me recording into my AKG P120 condenser microphone. So if you have exceptional recording conditions and you'd like a clean, crisp signal that comes from condenser microphones, then it will be the right option for you. However, if you're like me and don't have the best recording environment and want to sound more like a radio host, then you should definitely opt for a dynamic mic. What mic do you currently use or are you still looking to buy one? Make sure you let us know in the comments below. We're going to be producing a bunch more videos on this YouTube channel about podcasting, video interviews and more. So if you want to learn more about starting and growing your podcast, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. Thanks for watching.